Hi there, my name is Brett Statham. This is a quick walkthrough of my RGB LED library for Arduino. Uh, I've got uh, over here in the camera a circuit wired up. We'll talk about that in a second. And you can grab the RGB LED library as well as the documentation from GitHub in the Brett Statham forward slash RGB LED repository. Uh, and in the camera, I've wired up the circuit uh, for a common anode RGB LED. Uh, I've got the red, green, and blue pins wired up to the respective PWM pins down on the Arduino. Uh, I've uh, thrown caution to the wind here and foregone the current limiting resistors, although uh, best practice indicates that you should include those. And this is a common anode RGB LED, so I've hooked the single anode for the LED up to the Arduino's 5 volt output. Uh, over there. If this were a common cathode RGB LED, you'd hook the single cathode up to the Arduino's ground pin instead. Uh, I've also got a ping pong ball sitting on top of my RGB LED uh, just over it and just simply poked a hole in the ping pong ball and slipped it over the LED just to help diffuse the light a little bit uh, and make it a little bit easier to see uh, in the camera. Although I'll admit the camera does not do a very good job of displaying those colors. Uh, anyhow, so I've also followed the instructions up above to download and install my RGB LED, and that means that I now ought to be able to go into the Arduino IDE, and then from the file menu, come down to examples, and then under RGB LED, pull up the RGB LED example sketch. So here it is, and basically the sketch assumes by default that, uh, as my circuit showed over there, a common anode uh, RGB LED, and uh, make sure that you've pointed uh, the code to the pins that you connected yours up to. Mine are connected to 11, 9, and 6, so I don't need to change anything there. Uh, if you had a common cathode RGB LED instead, you'd enter common cathode in there, and the library maps the values to make sure that they display appropriately depending on the uh, common type. I set up a thousand millisecond delay, and that's used by the example code in the loop just to make sure that each color displays long enough that you can sort of see it. You can play with that delay if you want to. Uh, setup just initializes serial and shows some basic information about the RGB LED that you've set up. And then the loop just has some example code to go through and show you how to set your uh, RGB LED to various colors uh, using various methods that are included in a library. We have a write RGB method that lets you display specific RGB values, passing in the red, green, and blue uh, numbers as values between 0 and 255. Pretty common way to represent RGB values. Uh, we also have ways to set pins individually. You can write just the red, just the green, just the blue pins. Uh, we have a way to let the RGB LED just pick and display a random color. And then there's also a method down here to display a color wheel. Uh, and the argument that you pass in there is how many milliseconds to pause between each color in the color wheel. And that'll sort of uh, rotate the RGB LED through uh, the colors of the rainbow uh, out there. And then of course you can turn it off. There's a turn off method, which is really the same as just write RGB with all zeros being passed into it. Uh, anyhow, throughout this we use uh, print RGB values, which is just a local method here, to display through the serial port uh, the values that are being shown uh, and mapped based on the uh, common anode or common cathode type. Anyhow, so that's it. I got to be able to now verify my code. Looks good. Go ahead and upload it. And as soon as it's done uploading here, I'll go ahead and open up the serial monitor. That'll restart the sketch, but I see it show red, then green, then blue, then sort of a yellow, and then an orange, a purple, and then a pink, uh, and then a random color, uh, all white, uh, all white again, does the color wheel. So there it is, cycling through the colors of the rainbow. When that's done, it turns it off and then starts the loop back over again. So anyhow, that's a quick example of my RGB LED Arduino library. Feel free to grab it from re uh, GitHub. And of course, you can fork that repo. And if you have any issues or pull requests, feel free to submit them. And I'll take them as they come. Thanks for your time.